beautifully colored and patterned. The Smith's longspur undertakes an impressive yearly migration from the south central U.S. all the way to the edge of tree line in Alaska and the Canadian Arctic. Where open tundra becomes the dominant landscape, Smith's longspurs choose areas of the tundra where clumps of grass mix with heaths and small trees. They sing from the ground in low perches, but have no flight display. Males don't defend territories or mates with their songs. They breed in loose colonies, in which females mate with more than one male, and males with more than one female. Females and winter plumaged males are much duller, but the white outer tail feathers are distinctive year round. Though the Arctic tundra is full of hazards for ground nesting birds. The handsome Lapland longspur is an abundant and widespread species. Its rich warbling song carries through the varying temperatures and winds of the Arctic summer. In the breeding season, males wear striking black plumage from crown to chest. Broad white stripes outline the black and contrast with a reddish nape. In winter, their plumage is duller and they're found in large flocks in the southern Great Plains. When spring comes, they migrate more than a thousand miles north to take advantage of the brief but insect-rich Arctic summer. Then, they're perhaps the most common bird of the high Arctic tundra of Alaska and Canada.